Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia. Uh, my name is Rafi Yakub right here. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can create a Spira professional logo using your Corel Draw without any stress. All you have to do is to make sure you watch this video. But before I get to the tutorial started, if you are very new to this channel, please remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell so whenever I upload content about current tutorial, you get notified. And lastly, if you have any question for me as far as this tutorial is concerned, you can put your question in the comment section down below. So with that being said, so let's start the tutorial and see how you can create a professional spiral logo design using your color draw. So let's begin. First thing first, you have to go to your toolbar and select your circle. Having you selected your circle, you have to press down control key and draw your circle. Then you can press P to centralize the circle and then you can change the color to black. And you can come down below here and right click here just to remove the stroke. Next thing you have to do is to bring out your ruler from Fatica and snap to the center of the page. And then you have to select the circle again and then go back to your ruler and snap to the center this way. Now you have it this way. Then yeah? You have to select the circle now. Press that control key and take it to the top. Okay, next thing you have to do is to just tap on the circle. So this allows you to bring out the rotation pin. Next thing you have to do is to drag the rotation pin and snap to the center of your page. So the next step you have to, to take is to rotate this circle around to form a kind of circle. So for you to do that, you have to come to the home tab here, go to window. From window, you have to look for Docker. Then from Docker, you have to look for transform. And from transform right here, you have to make sure you choose rotate. Then having choose rotate, you have to uh, type in 24 here. And uh, type in, let's make this 15. And make this 24. Once you are done, then you have to click on apply. So you are going to have it this way round circle around the object. So we can easily close the rotation uh, pane. So, next thing I'm going to do is to select some of the part of this. So, I will select from this part here. And I'm going to change this to red. So I want the logo to have a two type of color, red and black. Next thing you have to do is to select everything this way and go to your home tab here and make sure you click on group or you press and control J to group. Now you have to fall back to the center point of the shape. Click on the center point, you're going to have a rotation pane. Then you have to move to the top right here, press that shift key and snap and, uh, adjust to the center. Then release with your right click. Once you release it with your right click, press Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R, Control R. Reset, reset. Okay, so we have to make it turning effectively. Shift key and drag it in. Then place with your right click, then control hard, control hard, control hard until you are able to achieve what you are exactly looking for. Control hard this way. Control hard. Boom. So with that, then you can easily group everything together. For you to do that, you just have to select everything this way. And uh, you have to click on group, then you can easily delete all this ruler, right click here and press delete, then select this one also, right click and press delete, and you can select logo now, shift key and drag just to resize the logo based on 
whatever you are. So you can resize the logo, size, and stuff like that. So this is how you can create a professional spider logo design using your current draw. I hope you guys find value for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumb up and also remember to subscribe for more tutorial like this in CorelDRAW. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.